This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Well, aloha, and how you doing? Welcome to another exciting and thrilling episode of Hibachi Talk. Gardo the Tech's out here. Good here, my good old buddy, Andrew the Security Guy. Hey, everybody. Aloha. Please uh, grab yourself a chair, pull up a libation, and join us where we meet <laughs> lovely Ann Weber. Here's here. And she's Hi. from co-working. She's a co-working community manager at Impact Hub. You're not, you got it. it. You got I it. almost <laughs> said co low again. Yeah. I'm, it, I'm, I'm, I'm you got through that. That was Mental. Right. Mental. Look at our new background. So our new we have a hammock. We're talking about work, but we have a hammock. I'm, I don't know. I'm what ready. Do you think? I'm ready for it. You know, balance. Balance. Work-life balance. Work-life balance. Work balance. balance. Yeah. Uh, John Connolly was the guy that did this photograph. And in order to get it for free, all I had to do was say his name. So how's that? So well, say it again, John Conley. Can we, can we get another picture now? Yeah, uh, I'll check it out. <laughs> check it out with him. So anyway, so that's all I had to do. Anyway, um, co-working. We'll find out about that in a minute. But let's find out a little bit about yourself. So tell us about yourself, Anne. Where did you go to school? Where did you grow up? Yeah, I grew up in Los Angeles. I've been out here for four and a half years. Mm. Um, I went to Loyola Marymount University for mm. college. So I stayed out in Los Angeles and then had the opportunity to move out to Hawaii. And I taught third grade for four years. Wow. In oh, at Hawaii Night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one only girl out at Hawaii Night. Yeah, <laughs> How yeah. How fun I was that? It. I loved it. <laughs> it must have been great. Mm -hmm. I just wish the pay was better. Oh, yeah. Well, um, welcome to state of Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. So I saw this gap, this, you know, educators aren't talking to business people people enough and how are we going to build that community. Mm. Um, so that's what drew me to Impact Hub originally. So Impact Hub is a um is a franchise or it's a it's a um, standalone. So how does that work? Yeah, so it's part of an association of okay. 102 Impact Hubs globally. Okay. So every member has access to each Impact Hub around the world for at least 3 days. Okay. Um, but we're not a franchise. So our, it, it's a brain trust, basically. We have some branding assets that we pull together, um, and we have some calls where we can talk about programming and figure out best practices together. But other than that, they're operated independently. So explain to me what an impact hub is. So what is that? Mm -hmm. So it's a co-working community and event space specializing in building community around an, an impact focus area. Okay. So each impact hub mm -hmm. around the world has their own focus area. So Oakland does uh, houselessness, Los Angeles focus on, focuses on water rights, and Honolulu is focusing on education and sustainability. Oh, oh see, I didn't, awesome. I didn't know that. I see, for some reason, I just thought it was a bunch of tech startup guys and girls that got together and tried to start up some kind of business. Yeah, apps. and it is that. Okay. It's absolutely, and it's equal opportunity, so we don't restrict our membership based on those two okay. industries. Uh, we see the value in getting lots of businesses together mm -hmm. and learning about those two issues as well. So, so um, if I want to, if I've got a, a business, which I do, and I need, need a space to hang my hat, mm -hmm. um, Impact Hub Honolulu is a place where I could actually go and say I want to um, I want a desk, an office. How was yeah. that? How did that work? We have all of the above. So you can so get your mail there. That's your can you be your can. registered. Mm -hmm. your, is there a phone line there, or do um, you, is we, that everybody on mobile? It's all mobile, but sure. you could get a hardline IP address in, so okay. then you could have VoIP coming sure. in. Sure. Right um, The we have different options. So hmm. co-working, which is you see any available seat, you're allowed to work there. The Wi-Fi is free and included. Um, there's designated desks, so it's your desk, nobody else can work there, mm. so you don't have to worry about, I want that spot by the window, this is, you know, oh, this is I my see. spot that I like mm -hmm. to, to be. You also have a file cabinet so that you can lock stuff up. Oh. Um, the next step up from that is the office spaces. Okay. So how, we have, how many are there? We have 27. Wow. Um, 27 offices? 25 are full. So they're wow. <laughs> we have wow. two, two left, um, and they're not finished yet. Are so they like weekly, annually, monthly? How they work? Oh, so All you can get an office month. for a month, okay? Mm -hmm. huh. So it's pretty a month. So it's month to month, and then the uh, desk space can be by the hour or by the day, or so we what's do the a, minimal kind of thing mm -hmm. we get? So we have a starter membership, which is two days a month for thirty dollars, okay. and any additional day you want on top of that is ten dollars. Okay, so right. I could go there twice a month for thirty bucks. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted, so those are days you just plan to work in town, see clients in town, yeah. so you come to town and. 
I see. Mm -hmm. that's or you a might bad, book a that's meeting. That's not a bad deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so there's meeting space as well. Mm -hmm. Is there video conferencing? Or, yeah, okay. so we have video conferencing capability, wow. okay. three different size meeting rooms, um, wow. and any of the AV needs. VTC alone is good to have. You yeah. know how many people had that? But now you, that's probably a uh, value add, so there's an extra extra charge to use those. No, no, it's included in the meeting room price. It's including in, oh, so there's a meeting room. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a meeting room price. So. There is. So members get them at 40% off. Okay. So once you're a membership, then you get 40% off each of our me meeting rooms. And the small meeting room gets you four hours a month included. Wow. So you pay so, so how much how much for four hours a month? Mm -hmm. meeting um, so if you have an unlimited membership, then that's $215 a month. That's 24-7 access to the space. Oh, you wow. can sit at any open seat, and you get the four hours a month. Wow, for 200 and change a month. Where else can you do that? BTC alone is really good. I mean, a lot yeah. of people just do Skype. It's not very professional. Or you can video conference mm -hmm. amongst people. That's that's a that's a powerful benefit mm -hmm. right there. Yeah, but I'm just looking at I office come space. Down and take a look. Yeah. Office space at $215 a month with uh, you said 24 uh, yeah. by 7, unlimited use, unlimited usage, and I got my own desk. Uh, that as long as there's one that's empty. open. Yeah, any as long as there's any open desk, mm -hmm. I. Uh, that's that's unlimited. Cap that so that's different that than the two days. Well, that's an unlimited. So yeah. anytime you want to stop in, long as there's a desk space, you mm -hmm. can have it, and you can and you schedule the conference rooms, obviously. It, yeah, and it's all bookable through our app, so you can see which ones are open, and you can book them in 15 minute increments. So if you just need to oh, pop in. Oh wow! Wow! Huh? I just love. It's like it's built, <laughs> it's like it's built yeah. for business. This is like Uber. <laughs> this is like an Uber office space. And yeah, so, just yeah. on demand. Does the subscription transfer across? So if I'm in Paris or wherever, there's another one. I can just my time and stuff applies there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. so it's called Impact Hub Passport. Okay. And at every Impact Hub, there's 102 worldwide. You have at least three days of access. Wow. Some are more generous. So it's like reciprocal. It's mm -hmm. like a reciprocal. Like um, a so if I go to San Francisco or I've go because I've I've gone to co-working. No, say this say colo. Co-working <laughs> spaces uh, in in California, um, and it's been terrific because if you're downtown and you need some place to hang your hat, and I'm not a member, I just paid. I forget it was like fifteen bucks for mm -hmm. like two or three hours. Um, it's far better than Starbucks. It was. It was I met a lot of neat people as well. So, but mm -hmm. with the with the is there a coffee machine? <laughs> yes, free coffee for members. <laughs> free coffee. Free coffee. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's it. They spend okay, five bucks on a Starbucks. Okay, what something. kind of coffee is it? Little cups no, or is it the? It's good organic coffee. Okay. No K cups because we're trying to be sustainable. Oh, there so we, okay. it's, we wow. have a nice coffee maker. You so can froth you, your milk if you want. Uh, who makes the coffee? Oh, you make them. Yourself. You make your own. This you, is you know, <laughs> know, sometimes early in the morning. Well, no, the our hosts make the coffee. Really. Um, Mm -hmm. But if you are there 24-7 and you want your 2 a.m. cup of coffee, yeah. then you're welcome to make it. Wow. So you have hosts and hostesses who are managing the, um, the space and so on. So how much space do you have? I mean, this is... Yeah, yeah it it's, big. it's fourteen thousand square feet, so it's Whoa. quite large. It's the largest co-working space in the There's state. There's forty thousand square feet in an acre, so you're looking at a quarter of an acre. Yeah, yeah, well, we so got our was, little quarter acre in Kakaako. Where, where was it? <laughs> what was it before? It was remember. the World Gym. Oh, okay. Oh, the so World Gym mm -hmm. in Kakaako yeah. on Queen Street. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's big. That's a nice. What about parking? It's fifty cents an hour in house. And there's plenty of parking. Parking available. around the streets mm -hmm. and so on. I mean, you know, that's a great location with all those condos yeah. coming up and everybody, you know, that that the, all the millennials going into the condos and things like that. So, are the rest of your programs as full as your offices? Um, so, since we're finishing the space right mm -hmm. now, the co-working is available. People are using the space. Mm -hmm. We have over a hundred members currently. Wow. Um, the offices are reserved, but they're not done yet. We're sure. waiting and on some finishing. materials to come in. So that's what we're focusing on right now. Uh, and then we'll really push for programming. So, so how's, the mind, how's the mind share? Is, do people meet people and sit around? What are you working on? What am I working on? If they're, you're focused on, is it education or education transfer or just um, anything around? Yeah, so it's, I mean, right now it's anyone with any business issues. They're free to collaborate with anyone sitting near them. So, you know, we're sitting at a table. You might do digital marketing, and I might have a product that I'm trying to figure out how do I access this market better. Mm. Um, you have that collaboration, and it happens organically, and our hosts are there also to make sure that the right people are meeting the right people. Yeah, that's so wow. interesting. Wow. And do, you, do, do people have a, is there a, Hey, we have a new member. Do you get a two-minute pitch or whoever's in the room or something? Or how does that work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so on our blog, we 
do oh, quick interviews of every single member. Mm -hmm. um, we're still we're still building our bank because we did expand quite quickly. Um, so you'll have that blog space. We also have a searchable directory. So you can put up your bio, and that bio is searchable, mm. and so you can find whatever it is that you're looking for. Uh, as part of the Impact Hub Global Partnership, there's a, they have their own um, social network called HubNet. Oh. So then you have access to over 15,000 members globally. Wow, wow. That's what a neat idea. Cool I thing. love the concept. Isn't it cool so thing? has it been in Hawaii for a while and you just got a bigger space? or No, so we started as Proto Hub. Okay. Uh, as kind of a prototype okay. to the idea while we went through the Impact Hub approval process. Okay. So uh, we were Proto Hub on Kiave in Kaka'ako for one year, had over 300 programs, 160 members, and figured out, yeah, this will this will work here. Mm -hmm. this well, is especially here because everything's so expensive. So I mean, mm -hmm. it's a great, especially you know, like, you got a lot of work at home. There's how many fifty thousand small businesses yeah. in Hawaii, so everybody everybody could use a. What's the zip code? The Bishop Street zip code. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Everybody would like to have a, a zip a, a zip code. Or or Bishop Street, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got to have it downtown. So you know, when the one was on Kiabi, was that the one that was on the Makai side? That was on the Ocean side? Mm, or was that Box no. Jelly? Yeah, that's Box Jelly. That was Box Jelly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, are they? The, are are you guys competition competing? Yeah, we yeah. actually meet once a month okay. to figure out ways that we can elevate co-working. Mm -hmm. Because okay. a lot of it is, it's education. People don't know what it is. They, yeah. they, you know, hear this word and they think like, oh, we have to work together somehow. Or they, they just don't understand that this is accessible. This mm -hmm. is, you know, you don't need to sit in a Starbucks and listen to the blender making frappuccinos really <laughs> loud and the unsecure internet and, mm -hmm. you know, just all of the issues that go along with that. You have a professional space with a community of people who are also working hard on their small businesses and all of the amenities that you'd need and programming built around your needs as well. Well, this is cool. This is cool. Well, guess what? We've already burned through half this program. Wow. So I know it goes, <laughs> it goes quick. So we're going to take a short break and we're going to pay some bills. And you haven't met Angus yet. No. Oh, you're in for a rare and wonderful treat. Anyway, so Angus will be back. He's going to talk about some new venture he's getting into. Maybe he can get some space down at your co-working facility. Yeah. All right. So we will be back with Ann Weber and we'll talk about Impact Hub after about a minute break. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Match day is no ordinary day. The pitch, hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff, MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. Freedom, is it a feeling? Is it a place? Is it an idea? At Dive Heart, we believe freedom is all of these and more, regardless of your ability. Dive Heart wants to help you escape the bonds of this world and defy gravity. Since 2001, Dive Heart has helped children, adults, and veterans of all abilities go where they have never gone before. Dive Heart has helped them transition to their new normal. Search DiveHeart.org and share our mission with others. And in the process, help people of all abilities imagine the possibilities in their Hey, welcome back to Think Tech Hawaii. This is Hibachi Talk, and I got a quick reminder for you that October is National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Uh, Governor Ige also declared it Hawaii Cybersecurity Awareness Month. So there are cybersecurity awareness events going on all over town. So if you're a consumer and you're not really sure what to do about your home computer or your network savviness, uh, check out one of those free things that are going on at libraries and malls and all kinds of places around town um, all, all across all islands. So get out there and check it out, uh, Cybersecurity Awareness Month. So up your game. All right, Angus, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you, man. How you doing, dude? All right. Good to see you. Did you see Ann? I am. You know, keep keep, keep, keep me lassie. You going to get one of those keep offices? You got a real smile. I guess you're giggling in the head. Hey, <laughs> Angus, you look like an Impact Hub guy to me. I'm an Impact kind of hub. I got a hard way to get there. Yeah. It'll impact my heart. <laughs> anyway, I got, a, I got a new venture I'm working in. Yeah, music, I got gadgets and all kinds of things. You know, But I'm getting into the ATM business. 
Okay. Yeah, the Bitcoin ATM. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I, uh, I'm, I'm working on it with this company called General Bytes. They make they make the largest producer of Bitcoin ATMs in the world. Wow. And, uh, and we didn't have any here in Hawaii yet. Well, it's because they didn't they shut down our exchanges or something. I know. We got another way. Uh, my exchange is not in Edinburgh, Scotland. So we didn't, we didn't have to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Hawaii yeah. shutting down. No, not going to happen. Anyway, they got close to 800 ATMs around 37 countries. Okay. So they're going to be bringing it in. It's because they're one of my favorite coins they're going to have in it. What? What's that Bitcoin? What? Potcoin. Potcoin. There's a new coin coming out called Potcoin. And the Potcoin is out there because, you know, you can't put the cash, you can't put the cash in the local banks. Still the federal offense. All the Potcoin. Yeah, you get it. So you can buy Potcoin. Okay. So this is happening all over the country. So it's a hundred billion dollar Potcoin market. Holy cow. Holy cow. Right now, pot coins sell for six cents. You're going to be richer than you were. Yeah, well, you know, I always keep my money. I still got the same nickel I made, you know, 100 years ago. <laughs> and so that's my new venture. So watch out for the Bitcoin ATMs around Tune. You'll see them real soon. Right on. Already. Anyway, like I say, every segment, put your ring game free where you be. Hello. Ha. Huh. Nice. So Angus is getting in the Bitcoin ATM business, people, so you know where to cash your, your money in. Get on down there and check it out. Let us know where that's going to be located when it gets here. Yeah. There'll be a few of them around. And we're back with uh, Ham Weber from, uh, what's it called? Hub <laughs> <laughs> Impact, Impact Hub. Hub. Impact Hub. Sorry. Impact Hub. Impact Hub. Impact Hub. Yeah, just, they share they the have space a nice space. logo. I think I have a picture of, of your... Um, of your of your camp, what, do you call it a campus? Um, yeah. It's fourteen thousand square feet. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of space. So I, I took a, a picture from your from your. Um, there you go. From the nice. website. Is this our, yours or someone else's? That's ours. That's yours. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's it awesome. <laughs> that is that is really really cool. I think it's. Um, what and where is co-working space? I love that's it. what I said. What and so where we, is co-working? So if we get a hibachi talk office, so and then there's. There's two and a third of us, because Angus <laughs> likes to, or is there just him and we're just hangers on. I'm not hangers on. We'll go on his bank. We'll go on his bank. So how does, so how does that work? We'll so, give him a discount. So you register per person then, mm -hmm. not like a company, and then they all, you know, you got six or eight people stopping oh, by sharing mm -hmm. time Yeah, so per each person. Makes office, sense. Each office comes with one unlimited membership. So one person can have 24-7 access. Gotcha. And then each uh, additional person that uses the office just needs to get a membership of their own. Sure. So however that works. Which, that, of that whichever way. type they would want. Exactly. Maybe they only get the two, four hours or whatever. Got so what's a membership? Exactly. So is that like, a, like your Gold's Gym membership? Is that an annual membership? So you, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, it's monthly as well. Okay. So everything is month to month. It's meant to be very flexible so that you can scale your business quickly if you, you need to take on other employees or... Do you accept Bitcoin for payment? Um, no, not There's yet. There's the question. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, yeah, then, right. you, then your ATM will really fly down there. there. Yeah. Angus's yeah. ATM. Yeah, if, if you use, um, there's a couple of software packages now that will ex accept, uh, QuickBooks as a matter of fact, will accept Bitcoin as a form of sure. payment. Sure. Oh, if well, you're using that for you your use account. QuickBooks. You do. So well, it's actually, it's a yeah, five minute setup to accept Bitcoin as a oh. form of payment. And then, uh, then we, Angus will definitely That'll rent from you. Yeah. Okay, but help me understand this. So if I've got a company, let's say, I, uh, um, and I'm a one-person show, but let's say we got a company like Andrews who's got 20 people and so on, and he needed a space down uh, 350 Queen Street? 1050. 1050 yeah. King, Queen Street. At 1050 Queen Street. So how would he do something like that where any of his 20 or whatever could drop in and um, use a particular office or space or desk or whatever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so probably the best way f would be to start a team membership. Okay. And that way all of the billing is centralized. So you mm -hmm. don't need to worry about, you know, having a whole bunch of cards hanging around. It's yeah. all on one place. Uh, and then we could set up each of your members, and that's so that when people are coming in 24/7, we know who's accessing the space. We sure. do have to. So have we like we would take an office, and then they would also get a subscription of their own of some for mm -hmm. some bit of time. Yeah. But that's interesting. It's I just think it's it's got to be hyper affordable. I don't remember what I used to pay when I was on Bishop Street. I had 11:32 there. That was yeah, that's it's, small it's, fortune. It's crazy to yeah. run down here. So yeah. to be able to have be able to have and work in town is is super valuable. Parking is inexpensive, and I think the mindshare thing. So I have a question. How many of your, um, like, give us the average age of your subscribers in Honolulu? Yeah, we did a lot of um, surveying, actually, because yeah. we, wanted to, we wanted to make sure that the message is not, this is not just for millennials. Mm -hmm. This is for everyone. This is for, for established businesses. <laughs> Would I be the oldest? No. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Yeah, we have, so the spread is actually quite um, evenly distributed. That's awesome. Up through 65 was what we just did it. I'm still older, I'm older than that. So, you are? Yeah. No way. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm a great-grandfather, so oh. that, that'll give you a sense for that one right now. 
<laughs> well, then maybe. I don't know. Yes, right, yes. <laughs> but thank you for the compliment. But you'll have friends. Yeah. <laughs> you'll have somebody you know. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Yeah. So it was, yeah, so like pretty, a, a third under 35, mm -hmm. a third between 35 and 45, and then a third over that. Hmm. So you're That's focusing awesome. on education and sustainability, but you're, it's open to anybody that wants to come in there, but, you know, hoping that the, the focus will be there. Mm -hmm. So what's, what are the in, uh, industries or business types that are in that, are in that space? Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you were talking about Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Um, High Tech Hui is one of our, oh, our businesses. Oh, um, uh, Chuck? And, oh. and Marie Lou. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Chuck's yeah, yeah. 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 been on the show. Yeah, Chuck's mm -hmm. been on the show. They're members. Sure. Yeah. Um, also, uh, Smart Yields, mm -hmm. they do, uh, they're more on the sustainability and technology side where they're trying to figure out solutions for higher yield crops. Mm -hmm. um, we have Hawaii School of Meditation. We have a couple playwrights, Hui Aloha. Um, a lot of digital marketing, so uh, a few entrepreneurs, DigiCamp and Lightspace Digital. Lights on digital. Wow. Um, yeah, it really ranges. Web developers, probably. Yeah. App developers. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is cool. Jay should get some think tech help down there. He's always playing with all of our tools. Yeah, you know, this sure if they're working or not working. You, you know, because of technical difficulties, we never got our new theme song up today. But we'll get it next week. <laughs> but wow, so, um, so how do you market it? How do you get the word out? Well, we talk to people. That's been it's been a lot of talk, see? Yeah. This, is, this is how. Mm -hmm. A lot of word of mouth because Hawaii is a, a tight community. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to get out and talk story with a lot of people, and we do some some Facebook ads as well. But we haven't done our really big marketing push until we're done building out the with space. The you know, we want to make sure that it's ready to go for people to get their first impression. Yeah, it does sound like you, you're going to need to though. You've already. It's, I mean, how, what's the capacity? What are you shooting for? Thousand members? It, it depends. Depends mm -hmm. based on the type of membership. Yeah, whether it's so the office it's, or the yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have different projections on those numbers, mm -hmm. um, but probably about. Well, yeah, it ranges. Uh, we have our, our kind of daily capacity in the space, mm -hmm. which is somewhere around two hundred. So. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. that's a good so amount of, of working business people. Yeah. I mean, probably some great conversations. Well, I've got, I've just got an idea and I'm about a particular business that I'm working with. So I could rent a office there for a monthly fee that would allow, if I have three people, um, they would become members and then we could use that space 24 by 7, mm -hmm. 365. We need to talk. Yeah. Okay. This is this may be a better opportunity than what presently is existing with another one of my clients. So, there you go. Awesome. I like it. The reason I do this show. Okay. Yeah. Amenities. You talked about um, coffee, and you did talk about you know you got video conferencing capabilities. Mm -hmm. But what if I need to make a photocopy or print things or um, take a shower? <laughs> okay. Take a sh hadn't quite thought. We take a showers. showers. <laughs> wow. I bet you got bike racks too. We do. Yeah. Okay. So there's bike racks in house. We're building some surfboard storage. Because um, that's important. You have to have board meetings. I, yeah. You uh, do. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. And the surf off Kakaako ain't that bad. Yeah. So. yeah. Point panning. Yeah. So wow. So I get photocopy machines. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you, have, do you won't even know this. Do you have fax machines? Um, you know, I, I can set you up with an app, and it's <laughs> free, <laughs> and you can take a picture, and it'll fax it. <laughs> I had to ask if you might not know what it is. <laughs> I know, I had a client installing a fax machine a couple weeks ago. I said, you're doing what? No, we need to learn for a fax machine. Who knew how? I said, where do you get fax machines? On eBay or what? Yeah, yeah I didn't know you could get like hard lines. I said, why are you phone lines that? anymore? Yeah, so DTMF phones? Crazy, but you know they live and die by facts. To this day and age, they're living and dying by facts. It's a yeah. very no, they're, they're dying. They're by doing facts. one of them. Yeah, <laughs> they're, 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 they're uh, going crazy. Okay, so I've got all that. So I got printer. So um, how do you I could, get I could in? Come in and print, print off a hundred-page document. Yeah, you could. Okay, that wouldn't seem kind of fair if I'm stealing all the paper mm -hmm. and the ink. So, so yeah, so it's donation. It's well, it's honor system based. Okay. We have a little kitty there that oh. it's five cents for black and white and ten cents for color copy. Okay. And you know, and throw in what you use. Then throw in what you. Okay, it's good because yeah, I, I can see someone going in there and going like, well, it ink at thirty dollars a container or whatever it is. I'll just go down and print my hundred. Well, like page when, when I've been turning all those like user manuals for all those construction projects, you know, they're like, you know, yeah, give me eight copies. You've this got thick, this right? all, mm -hmm. all going out and so on. Okay, so so what are we missing then? I mean, uh, my electricity is included. I got coffee. Tea. I got shower. No cam fees. Is there any food? No cam. Um, like we, we have a cafe can partner. You, 
Okay, so, um, or can you like bring your lunch? Yeah. Is it like, okay. So we have a break room. Okay. And we have toaster oven, microwave, fridge, space, anything wow. you would need in that regard. Wow. And then we also have a cafe partner um, coming in, Juicy Brew, okay. to provide uh, ready-made stocked goods. And it's going to be kind of like an honor market. So you pay by credit card. There's only going to be a few options available. And you just take out what you want. Bitcoin. And you wow, pay, wow. Pay for it. OK, we've got, got two minutes. So tell you us did. where we can find information about okay. Uh, where, where our audience can find information Impact about Hub. Impact Hub. ImpactHubHNL.com. That's not too compli complicated. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's awesome. So, Impact Hub, you're on Facebook. I picked up stuff on Facebook. You're on Twitter. We are. You're on Instagram. Yeah. You're, where are you not? I mean, I saw you everywhere. You're on Hibachi Talk now. You're on yeah. Hibachi Talk. And I, we got to go down to a visit. We yeah. have to come down. I'll give you a call. Yeah, nah, go. I just think some, there should, be some, there should yeah. be some great stories coming out of there that yeah. you could put on Hibachi yeah, Talk. Yeah, we could. We're always mm -hmm. looking for, you know. And that's the other thing. Please do that. Please let people know there that our guests, as you know, we don't charge for this. So if anyone has something they want to come on this show and talk about, um, let us know. I'll give you a banner. You can put it up down there if it's okay <laughs> with you guys. And then they can get it's free. It's free 99. Anyway, no one goes uh, unrewarded on this show. You've got number 135 in the series of yes. autographed solo cups that you can display with great pleasure at the uh, Impact Hub. Impact Hub. <laughs> Hub. Nice. So thank you, Ann Weber. It's very, very nice to meet you. You're just, it's, it's just a gen. You have a wonderful smile, by the way. Oh, thank I, you. I get accused of flirting with the guests. You know? <laughs> Can't stop now. I anyway, do it anyway. I, I do it anyway. So, anyway, so thanks yeah, so much. <laughs> Yeah, he flirts with me too. Yeah, yeah right. right. <laughs> Dream on, little dreamer. Anyway, <laughs> like we say at the end of every show, three, two, one. How, How are you doing? doing?